Now, in this video, we're going to solve something slightly a bit more complicated. We're going to solve the equation 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0 for theta being between minus 180 and 180 degrees. So let me just write that down. 2 cos squared plus cos theta minus 1. We notice we're solving it between minus 180 and 180. This is a quadratic in cos theta. I, it's of this type, a cos squared theta plus b cos theta plus c is equal to zero, which can either be factorised or you can use the, uh, what's known as the quadratic formula. Okay, you're not normally used to ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, but it's the same sort of thing. Okay, the product, if you're going to use this method of factorisation, uh, is 2 times minus 1, which gives me minus 2, and the sum... Is the, is the number in front of cos theta. There's no number, so it's this time it's just plus 1. All right, you must take into account of the signs. Then you ask yourself for two numbers, which when you multiply them together, or the product will be minus 2, and the sum of those two numbers will be 1. With a little bit of trial and improvement, you would come up with minus 1 and 2. Now you can check that, because check the product is minus 1 times 2, which gives me minus 2. And that's what I wanted the product to be. I wanted it to be minus 2. That's OK. And the sum of those these two numbers will be minus 1 plus 2, which gives me 1. And I wanted the sum to be 1. So that's OK as well. It's worth doing the little check, though. And then what you do is you take the quadratic equation, and you write down 2 cos squared theta, but you split the middle term, this one, up into minus cos theta, plus 2 cos theta. Now, it doesn't matter which way round you write those two things. And then we need to put on the minus 1 at the end, and it's still equal to 0. And then you do what's known as factorising by grouping. So you group the first two terms together, and you look for the highest common factor. Well, the highest common factor here is cos theta. That comes out, and then in brackets, you're going to have 2 cos theta minus 1. And then you group the... Second, bring, sorry, bring down the sign in front and then you group the last two terms together and you look for the highest common factor. Well, the highest common factor is actually 1. There isn't a, a common factor there. So you write it down to cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0 and put a 1 in front. You will notice, if you've done this procedure correctly, that here and here you have the same thing. So this now actually becomes a common factor which you can take out. So you get 2 cos theta minus 1 and what's left? Cos theta plus 1. Okay, you might have other methods of factorising that, and that's fine. And then you say either this is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0 to find the solutions. So, we've got 2 cos theta minus 1, cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Remember, we're solving from minus 180 to 180. It's quite important to bear that in mind. Either 2 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0, so if we add 1 to both sides, we're going to get 2 cos theta is equal to 1. Dividing by 2, we're going to get cos theta is equal to 1 half. This is positive. We note that this is positive. And then cos to the minus 1 of 1 half is 60. And drawing our cast diagram, again, you don't necessarily need to write it all out. But because we're solving from minus 180 to 180, we've gone 0, 90, 180, and then this way around minus 90, minus 180. Again, you don't have to write this all in first, second, third quadrant. So it tells me in the first that they're all positive, in the second that their sine is positive, in the third tangent is positive, and in the fourth cosine is positive. South Asian Tennis Club is the way that I remember that. Right, we want to know where cos is positive, it's positive in the first and fourth quadrants, and remember that we make up the angle with the x-axis. So we go to the first, we draw an angle of 60 degrees with the x-axis, and we go to the fourth and we draw an angle with the x-axis 60 degrees. So we get two uh, answers We're going this way is positive, so we're going to get the theta it could be 60. I'm writing this one over here because if we go the other way, we're going to have one which is minus 60 because we that remember that's negative angles this is positive so it's anti-clockwise for positive and clockwise for uh, negative angles 
Or this bit could be equal to zero, so cos plus one is equal to zero. So taking one from both sides, we get cos theta is equal to minus one. And if you remember, I was told you before in a previous video, you should use the graph when sine and cos is equal to minus one, zero, or one. It's very easy to quickly sketch a graph. We're going from minus 180 to 180 this time. Cos starts here at 1, so just draw that bit in first. And if you can't remember it, well, all it does is it's a reflection. It carries on the same pattern. Okay, so that's y is equal to cos x between minus 180 and 180. We want to know uh, where it is equal to minus 1. So cos will be equal to minus 1 here at minus 180 or here at 180. So we're going to get all the answers writing out in all the solutions in ascending order. We're going to have beta is minus 180, minus 60, 60 degrees and 180 degrees. You must make sure you solve it between the range given in the question. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to solve an a trick equation which leads to a quadratic which you can factorize. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.